It's plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Only Jesus saved. God will not accept cash, check, membership, water, Mary, Baptist. He will only accept the finished work and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Anything else is hell. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And yes, that loving God will cast you into the lake of fire if you reject the finished work of his Son. God's love is that he sent Jesus but the Holy God is one that will reject you because you have rejected Jesus. Hell is a separation from God. In hell there is no peace. There is no righteousness. There is no grace. There's no mercy. And the Bible speaks of hell of torments. You're not going to have your alcohol in hell. Alcohol burns. It's a place of fire. It's a place of judgment. It's a place of darkness. You're not going to see your friends. You can't have a lasting party with them when you can't see them. And you're tormented. There will be pharmacists in hell, but they can't prescribe you or give you any pain medication. And yet, the fact is, the love of God is God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. He tells those that are saved, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And there's a problem here down south. Paul tells the Corinthian church that there is another Jesus. There's a Jesus that's religious that will not get you to heaven. There's a southern Jesus. A redneck Jesus. A NASCAR Jesus. Those are not going to get you to heaven. The Bible says there is no other name given amongst men under heaven whereby you must be saved. That name is set apart. God manifested in the flesh. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that He gave, there's that gift. He gave us His Son. Jesus Christ became the willing sin offering to God that was pleasure to God upon Calvary's hill. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, Who has believed our report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant as a root out of dry ground. We're speaking about the Lord Jesus Christ. He has no form or comeliness. And when we shall see Him, there is no beauty that we should desire Him. You can forget about the pictures of Jesus you see today. That's not Jesus. There was no Polaroids back then. And Jesus Christ was not to be a symbol of handsomeness. He is to be God manifested in the flesh. He said that I am the way, Jesus said, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of Jesus Christ for salvation. He's despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. 
we hid as in our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. The truth is, you're not good enough to get to heaven. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You're not going to get to heaven on your own merit. You can't get to heaven by a happy little whatever you want to do. Jesus Christ manifested in the flesh. God said about himself, I am the way, the truth, and the, truth the, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So that rules out religion. When Jesus Christ is the way, now you got to be careful because the Bible, Paul wrote to the Corinthian church and said, there's another Jesus. There are more Jesus out there, Corey. And there's another spirit. And there's another gospel. And yet the gospel of life is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And if you're not good enough, for the Bible says there is none that doeth good. You are not going to get to good heaven without the Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, and that wrath of God is hell. Now you may stalk and laugh and say, Go to hell. But when God says, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you, and your name is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life. You will be cast off into hell forever, and there are no alcohol in hell, because hell is fire, alcohol burns up, there is a place of darkness, you're not going to party with your friends, because you won't be able to see your friends, and the Bible speaks about hell being in torment, tormenting, it's not a place of a party, it's not a place of fun. It's all eternal. Unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, hell will be your destination. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now you know your name of your famous race car driver, and you hope him to finish under the checkered flag. But I'm sorry to say that name of that driver, there's how many other drivers of people worshiping that person, that want that person to be coming under the checkered flag. But those names and your name has no identity in heaven, and God's like, who cares? Unless your name is the last book of life, God doesn't care. As a matter of fact, the rich man that goes into hell has no name. And the question is, okay, you can know a name here on earth, but do you know the name of Jesus? Jesus Christ, the biblical Jesus. Jesus who suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus who is God. He's not a Jehovah Witness Jesus. They deny Jesus Christ as God. And Paul warns us to the Corinthian church that there's another Jesus. Now you can't have a Jesus where you eat and drink. That violates the law. you got to have a Jesus taken by faith and with your heart to believe on the righteousness that we don't have. The wages of sin is death. That's what we can do. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 
that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And you'll probably see John 3.16 out in the fans. Yeah, that's wonderful. But John 3.16, again, is for God so loved the world. And it's a wonderful love. It's the love of God to be preached. And that love of God is where we are unable to save our souls. You say, well, I'm good, but the Bible says there is none that do it good. And when you say you're good, you have lied against the Bible and Scriptures. For all have sinned. And the sin, we look at sin as this is a light sin, this is a big heavy sin, we need to get rid of these people that sin. For all have sinned. And there is one sin that will cast you into hell forever. And John the Baptist said, He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Your rejection of the finished work and testimony and gospel of Jesus Christ. Rejecting that, God will throw you into hell. Receiving Christ as your Savior, your name will get into the Lamb's book of life, and you will have a name in heaven by Jesus Christ. And if you're to die in Christ, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And if you're to die without Christ, you will be buried and you will wake up in hell for all eternity with no name, no identity, 